Hello everyone, welcome to my political journalism news channel. The story for today is Labor Senator Kimberly Kitching told a Parliament employed workplace trainer she was being bullied by Senate Labor colleagues, according to multiple ALP sources. Several of Senator Kitching's colleagues have told the ABC that the 52 year old, who died from a suspected heart attack a week ago, cited the alleged bullying when she was undergoing workplace education on November 5 last year. The hour-long safe and respectful workplace training, which was part of the government's response to Brittany Higgins' rape allegation, was conducted by a facilitator over Zoom as part of a Department of Finance program. Senator Kitching told several colleagues that she had said to the trainer, towards the end of an hour's instruction on sexual harassment, bullying and respect at work, what are you going to do about the fact that I am being bullied? This version of events has been relayed to the ABC by multiple Labour sources in whom Senator Kitching confided, men and women, who claim the Victorian Senator was being bullied, ostracised and isolated by the ALPS Senate leadership, which comprises Senator Penny Wan, Christina Keneally and Katie Gallagher. The Australian newspaper reported that Senator Kitching called the three women the mean girls, a term opposition leader Anthony Albanese said was extraordinarily disrespectful. To describe strong, articulate, principled women like Penny Wong, Katie Gallagher and Christina Keneally, I find it astonishing and a throwback. Decades, decades, Mr Albanese said, if you had children, you might understand, Labour politicians battle over the party's future. A heated, uncomfortable debate within a federal Labour meeting lays bare the strain within the party as it wrestles with its political future, writes political editor Andrew Proben. But a Labour colleague of Senator Kitching said the description was apartment there is a culture of exclusion and bullying in the party and this is from people who are holier than thou, said the Senator, who spoke to the ABC on condition of anonymity. In my mind, Mean Girls is a great description, because it's like a year nine clique. It is not known whether Senator Kitching made any formal steps towards making an official complaint, although one of her female Labour caucus colleagues told the ABC Senator Kitching would have feared retribution, and shared her concern that the complaint structure in Parliament was overly litigious and would not deliver the outcomes. Her parliamentary friends said she raised concerns about her treatment with Deputy Labour leader Richard Miles. Mr Miles would not directly answer questions about when or how many times Senator Kitching had raised with him allegations of bullying. I don't accept the assertions that have been in the media, but I am not about to get into that debate now, he told reporters in Hobart. Senator Kitching died a week ago today, somebody I knew for 30 years. The whole labor movement is in a state of grief and shock. Right now, I am focused on providing support to Andrew, Landayu, her husband, and family whose grief is unspeakable. Kimberly was a person of really clear vision. She had an understanding of right and wrong. She was a fierce advocate for what she believed in but much more than that she was somebody who was warm, who was fun to be with. Colleagues variously describe Senator Kitching being left out of meetings, dumped from the Labor Tactics Committee, given late night shifts in the Senate and otherwise being disengaged from parliamentary Labor Party business. Her detractors in Labour believed Senator Kitching showed disloyalty to her party room colleagues. They accused her of leaking to Liberal opponents and were angry at Senator Kitching for being such a vocal member of the Wolverines, a group of mainly Liberal MPs that seeks to highlight Beijing's authoritarianism. Last month, Senator Kitching used parliamentary privilege to suggest a prominent Chinese-Australian political donor is the mysterious puppeteer behind a thwarted foreign interference plot to back political candidates in the next election. That donor denies the allegation, her close friendship with former Labour leader Bill Shorten also put her out of favour with powerful figures inside the Parliamentary Labour Party. Senator Kitching's complaints about her treatment by some of senior colleagues date back years. In 2019, the ABC reported that Senator Kitching was the subject of a hurtful jibe during an ALP parliamentary meeting. Senior Labour figures were debating whether to back a Green Senate motion expressing support for school children engaging in civil disobedience at climate protests. Senator Kitching was adamant the party shouldn't support the motion, arguing it would be an exercise in futile virtue signalling, observing that some parents might want their kids to be at school. A senior member of the left shot back at her, well if you had children, you might understand why there is a climate emergency. Journalist Sam Maiden identified this person as Penny Wong in her 2020 book, Party Animals. This is correct, Labor Senator Penny Wong wears a stern facial expression. The ABC did not identify Senator Wong in the 2019 article, at the request of Senator Kitching. 
she wanted it known what had been said to her, witnessed by several other senior Labour figures, but DIDNT want to start World War III. She had revealed the exchange to the ABC in the hope it would encourage greater respect. One Labour senator, who declined to be named, said the treatment of Senator Kitching by some of her colleagues was disgusting and had added to the stress of her pre-selection endorsement being long delayed. Kimberley was no shrinking violet of course, and you don't get to the Senate if you can't take the rough and tumble, but it does not matter how tough you are, there is only so much you can take, the senator said. This sort of behaviour can't continue. We have to talk about this in Parliament, but we have to sort ourselves out first. The road to the election is paved in trouble, Kimberley Kitchen fought as hard as the boys. She knew how to land a political blow, even if it was on her own side of politics. Her death might have prompted some to decry backroom political tactics, but don't expect that to change how the parties operate any time soon. Another ally of Senator Kitching said it was disingenuous for Mr Albanese and other members of the Labour front bench to cite Senator Kitching's funeral on Monday to parry questions about bullying inside Labour ranks. In speaking up in respect of Kimberley, not out of disrespect, the Senator said. Senator Kitching's pre-selection was being held up by factional squabbling in the Victorian division of the party. When approached by the ABC, Senator Wong said she was not aware of any claim of bullying made by Senator Kitching to the workplace trainer contracted by Parliament. Earlier, Senator Wong told reporters that Senator Kitching's death was tragic and shocking and that many in Labour were grieving. So in simply not going to engage in commentary about some of the allegations which have been raised, even if I and others disagree with them, she said. Asked by a reporter if she believed Senator Kitching had been bullied, she said, somebody has died. She was somebody loved by her family, somebody who was close to many people in the Labour Party. And as the leader said today, out of respect for that, I'm not going to engage in political commentary, even in relation to assertions with which I disagree and which are hurtful. Senator Gallagher, when asked on ABC Radio if Senator Kitching had been treated with respect and professional courtesy, said, I just don't think it's respectful for us to enter into commentary or disagreement about particular aspects of it at this point in time, I don't think it's right. I think that people are still grieving, that is all for today news, thank you for watching to my channel, please be sure to leave your comment and subscribe below for more news.